Lettuce eat, she's lettuce eat, and you're in for a treat when you watch lettuce eat. Dollar Tree clean with me, zoning and decluttering. Zaire, Jacqueline, Dave doing his thing. Dutch oven meal hacks. She's coming back, she's coming back. This is Lucy. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and click on my link and check me out. We're going to get an area of my dining room cleaned up. I have it's set up in sections and on the opposite side of the freezer we use it for extra food storage if you're new we do giveaways every hundred subscribers we'll get into that a little later within the video smash on that subscribe word and check out our clean with me playlist link down below with all kinds of motivational videos for cleaning decluttering and organizing i'm going to show you some things that we're going to be using from the dollar tree i'm going to show you the area of the dining room that we're going to work on if you're a regular watcher from my channel, you know we used to have a big silver rack, which is now in my back store area, and we moved the what's left onto the opposite side of the freezer. So when you walk into the dining area from the top of the stairs, you only see the dinner table, and the food storage that I have is kind of concealed. I have a couple items from the Dollar Tree that I'd like to try to utilize within this little space to kind of clean it up so it's not so cluttery. Dollar Tree is a great place to go to for organization on a budget. I have one of their shoe horns. Uh, for years, I searched Dollar Tree for them. And within the past year or so, they have been showing up. And I found it in almost every Dollar Tree. Dollar Trees are all different. None of them are created the same. And some can be messy and some can be really clean. Then I have this storage unit with a seal type lid that I would like to use to get some of that stuff put away within the corner and kind of conceal it better so it looks nice. Always be careful when you're opening up your packages from a Dollar Tree. I like the pocket one here. This is going to create extra um, vertical space. Vertical storage is extremely important in an area where there's almost no storage. We're going to pick up that box and get it on the table because this is going to get emptied out completely. And we're going to decan some Gatorade drinks. Focusing on the wall part there. I want to get this hung up. I'm going to hang it up right about here. Right underneath the dial to add that vertical storage. And we're going to hang the chips in it because they're not very heavy. There is no pantry in this space. So I have to think outside the box. I'm going to take everything that's piled up on the skinny bin and get it removed. Now that that's hanging up, I'm going to place the chips right into the pockets. I've seen people use these to stow away Barbie dolls, shampoo bottles, all kinds of stuff. And we're going to get them put away so we can get rid of the box and then recycle the box. The organizer here from the Dollar Tree, I put a bunch of them into it, like a few per pocket. And you can just pull one out as needed and then replace them as they empty out. It's concealed on the opposite side of the bookcase and right underneath the knob for the heater so we don't have to worry about it in another few weeks or so. Hopefully my heat won't have to be on much longer. I try to turn it off in April and not turn it on until almost November, whenever we can. I have a bin down at the bottom that we're going to also use for drinks and we're going to get those Gatorades put away. I'm going to decan these Gatorades here. Get rid of that ugly packaging. If you do a major decluttering project, scheduling regular decluttering sessions from a decluttering project that you've done to keep everything in check in your home. Especially if you have absolutely no storage in a situation like mine. 
I use every inch that I can and I try to make it as calming as possible so when you walk in you just don't see a storehouse of stuff. I want to try to use the box within this. And put the Gatorades back in. it's easily accessible to get into. That is what I mean by clutter. Even though it's not seen when you walk into the house, you want to keep it kind of clutter free. Here's what it looks like. I'm gonna hang a bunch of your chips and as they empty out, I can replenish them. The Gatorade looks a lot better and I'll be filling up that water. We do have a case of water in the kitchen to put into the bucket down there, also from Dollar Tree. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. There are $10 gift cards and the gift card information are listed down below. If you're new, you need to comment in order to qualify and please be kind. Need to be subscribed and a United States resident. My viewer who want a gift card, just let me know they received it. So they're very, very excited. If you're new, we have a newsletter coming out very shortly. You can email me, contraboots1268 at yahoo.com. I think outside the box when I have absolutely no place to store stuff. We do buy bulk because we can be a family of four. When my son is home from college and Jacqueline likes a certain amount of chips for our lunches and it saves money when you buy bulk. Just put it away so you don't have your packages everywhere and it doesn't make your home feel like a warehouse. The social sites, they're linked down below our Facebook page and group, as well as all of our playlists. Have a fantastic day and smash on that subscribe word and thank you for watching.